Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl, Michelle, and we're back here today with another tutorial. Flower power. So let's see what we got to do to make this. It's going to be really simple. The only pain thing is lining up your circle. So the first thing we're going to need is some text. So I'm going to do a little cheat cheat here. And what we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this and go here. And I'm going to take this out and delete this. And I'm going to take this and let's do 60. Enter. And then we're going to make it along. Come on, get across the page, my little sweet. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, Michelle's being goofy again. All right, here we go. Now, tighten that baby up. So what we want to do once we get our text is we want to go in and get a curve. So we're going to go into effects. We're going to get this curve. And we want to curve it till it makes a circle. So you see your circle here. So what you want to do is you're going to play around till you get your text the way you want it and the size you want it. So if I want three of these, I know I'm going to have to reduce this even smaller so I can get three around. So right now I could probably do two if I wanted to do two, but I kind of want to do three. So let's uh, reduce the size of this make this a little wider so I can stick three on there. Um, let's copy that twice and let's see how it fits up in a circle. So we're going to do here and then move this one around and you're going to have to play with it depending on your font and what kind, how long your text is and how much gap in between each one you want. So that is a little bit of a, the monotonous part is trying to get it all lined up where you want. So we're gonna sit here for a minute and play play around and try to get it all lined up like we want. See, that is such an ugly thing right now, but we'll get it. to do is group this together now and then we're going to make our circles so what we want to do is we want to copy this and then if we want to go in some we'll go make it smaller line it up like we want and make sure that they're not overlapping any so it's just this is a game of patience Let's see if my arrow keys will be a little nice for me. And we'll do that. And then we can just duplicate that. And then we'll go bigger. And you can do as many as you want, depending on how big you want your flower. have them all together you can group them together so they don't move if you want to you don't have to you can un you can group them not group them that does matter. so the next thing we need to do is anybody who's seen my tutorials before my favorite thing on earth is the black gradient rectangle i use it for if you've seen my tutorials it seems like everything so if you want to just do the like the one i have that's each saying, we're just going to do one on each. So we'll do one on each beginning of this, the word, the not the word, the little statement, whatever you want to call it, saying, whatever you phrase. So we'll just line those up across those and get those. And that'll give you that effect of like the single one that we have on my page in the front. Um, let's spin that around. Over here. And that'll give you the f effect of doing that, the, um, like a whole sentence line 
whatever you want to call it. Now, if you want to do each word. So when I did the each word on the, the part in the preview, or if you saw it somewhere else, is what I did is I did each word separated. So what I did when I did my gradient, I duplicated that. And what I did when I brought it over is I went, I went down and I went lighter between each word with my gradient. So we'll spin this around. And what I did with this one, once I lined it up here, was what I did there is just take it down a notch. So we'll take that down to like 80 right there to give it. So it's like a little bit of a wave. So I'm going to duplicate that and put that all in front of my word, the little. I duplicate that and bring this. Oh, come on. What are you doing all the way down there, baby? Come on. Come on over here. Give you a little spinny spin. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I spend way too much time. All right. So now that we got the little, what we want to do now is we want to do one. So what I want to do here is get one. Line that up pretty cool. Bring it over a little bit. And then I want to take that down just a little bit more. Maybe to 75, 70, 75. Just give it a little bit. And then all my ones, I will, I will copy this and take them and put them with one. Or did I just delete it? <laughs> I have a bad habit of that sometimes. Okay, and then I'm like, where'd my thing go? And I'm like, dude. You're so goofy. You hit the wrong button. It's like when I want to do, uh, delete a page, I always wind up duplicating a page because I'm so used to doing things where I duplicate a page that I wind up. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm just doing the wrong thing all the time. I'm so goofy. But it all works out. And that gives you like a wavy kind of effect there. And then to make it look a little more crazy, what I did before, like I can even put a color behind it. And then when you do a color behind it, let's group all this together. Group. And then what we do is make it bigger. What I did was get a circle. Oh, I'm out of bigger. So I want that coming off the edges. Let's make this uh, a little bit smaller here so we can get up there and then take these off to the edges. So now it looks like some looping, almost like curled paper. And then what I just did is I went and got like a circle and then I tried to uh, color match that, and then I just took some text and put it in the center and kind of looped that around. So those are like the things you can do with it. I want you to thank you for stopping by. Please hit that like button. Uh, it helps the algorithm and push the video out a little bit more. One day I'll get just a, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours, but it's going to be a long time. So every little click you do helps me out, and I hope I helped you out. And I thank you for stopping by, and I'm sending you love. Bye, y'all.